So, hello and welcome to the Daisy Standalone. Uh, this is just going to be a series of videos to start off with, just with me learning how to play the game. Um, I'm pretty much a novice at Daisy. Played a couple of hours on the uh, on the mod, but really just getting myself into it. The main reason behind it is because I didn't want to play the mod and then come and play the standalone. I wanted to like sort of come into the game as a novice, as a new person. So, and that's what I've done. So first of all, I geared up my player and then logged out last night. Um, so this is the player I currently have. So I haven't got a backpack, which is something I'm really looking forward to getting because I haven't been able to pick up much stuff. Um, but this is a town that I was using yesterday that I actually spawned outside of up on the other side of the hill over there. Um, so I used this town to get some loot. Now I have switched servers to hope that I can find a... Uh, a backpack somewhere. I'm very wary of that zombie over there. But hopefully we can find some stuff. And I'll just explain a couple of things along the way as well because there are some things that have changed since the mod and um, sort of just to clarify a couple of things as we go along. When I spawned in last night I bumped into about six players in this town. All of them were friendly <laughs> which is completely the opposite to what I was expecting but I did run into six players which is quite a big amount. We were all fresh spawns as well. We weren't all like new guys. We weren't all like experienced players. Most of them, I even started chatting to them. I only just started playing the game as well, which was quite cool. Oh, some more shoes. Seems that people don't want their shoes. Oh, is this a cargo top? Oh, yeah, I got some cargo pants. Now, the cool thing about cargo pants is they have six slots over here on in the vicinity section. They've got six slots compared to my black jeans, which only have four slots, which is taken up by three objects at the moment. So... You transfer your stuff over to that, like that, and then move away a bit, take the black jeans away, move back across, pick up the cargo pants. Oh, there's a pen as well, we'll just stick that in there. Now, see, I have more space in my inventory, so I actually have space to pick up something extra. That's really quite cool. So even though I don't have a backpack, I'm still able to pick a few things up, which is, which is quite nice. Now I feel a little bit more kitted out, that I really need to drink. I haven't got anything for you to have, mate. <laughs> You're just going to have to... Oh, oh, I found the watering hole. Literally walked right at it. Literally just hit the button a few times and then the thirsty sign will, will disappear. You see here next to the player's head, it tells you what they actually want. And there's little notifications down in the bottom left corner to tell you that as well. Which is quite cool, but it can get a little bit annoying when every single time your player wants something, he just shouts at you. Like, I want it, I want it. It's like, yes, I get it. I get that you want something. But you don't have to keep telling me. <laughs> to quote my friend Matt the Musketeer, it's like having a really needy Tamagotchi. <laughs> How can you still be thirsty? Should we go and sit next to this a little bit longer for you? Yeah. No, don't stand on it. <laughs> okay, my thirst has now gone. Look. You drank some water from the pond. It's not a pond, but okay, we'll just roll with that. So now, he's totally fine. And look, I've already opened this can of tuna, which means I can give him some food. Saying he was hungry. I've also got this uh, this kiwi, which is in pristine condition. So now, my player's completely healed up again. I'm literally looking everywhere I can to try and find a backpack, because seriously, being without a backpack is quite bad. Because it means if I find food and stuff... I can't put it anywhere. I have to sacrifice something in order to get it. <gasps> oh, shoes. What are they? Are they smart shoes? Are they leather shoes? Suited for office work and social events. It doesn't sound like the apocalypse. <laughs> really need a backpack. What have we here? Brown hunter pants. Oh. I'm a sucker for anything that looks good. <laughs> Just transfer all that over. If you move back, you can drop the beige pants off and put the brown hunter pants on. Now that looks a bit better, doesn't it? Brown's better than beige. Only wear beige if you're like over the age of 50. Not open. There we go. Ooh, a beanie hat. Are they sunglasses? They are. They're sunglasses. <laughs> he looks stupid. Oh, now I've got to get rid of... If I get rid of the mask, 
I can put the beanie hat on. Oh, yeah, he looks sexy. Give me that hat. Ooh, a holster. Is that a holster? Chest holster. Brilliant. Now, I look hot. <laughs> Chest holster, what does that do? Doesn't do anything. You can't hold anything on it. Look, if I open it up and close it, it doesn't do anything. Oh well, it looks cool. We'll keep it. And then in the final one. Oh, don't tell me there's more hunter pants. Summer hunter pants. Alright, we're going to do another wardrobe change then. Oh, I look boss. If ever there was a fashion show in Daisy, I'd bloody win it. <laughs> Let's go. Right. So it looks like we're fully geared up. Let's see where uh, see where the road takes us. So um, I just headed back to the watering hole before we uh, before we set off. Now I'm not entirely sure where I am, and it looks as if the map I got uh, doesn't actually open. <laughs> so uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to head along this road, and hopefully it takes me somewhere. <gasps> a rabbit! There's a rabbit. Hang on. Hang on. Where did it go? That's like one of the only bits of wildlife in Daisy at the moment. Is a rabbit. There's like... There's no pigs. There's no cows. There's nothing at the moment. The only thing you can get is a rabbit. Oh, has it run away? Oh, damn it. I don't know if you saw it. But yeah, that's one of the only bits of wildlife in Daisy at the moment. Pretty rare. And I had a hunting knife, so I could have killed it. This road is so fucking long. Looks like a hut down there. Could offer a something. Could offer something. It's always worth a look. I think that's something in the, in the standalone at the moment. Is that check everything. Because... You never know what you might find. I mean, like, the way the loot spawns are, like, going up onto shelves and things like that or on top of bookcases. Make sure you check everywhere. Because, like, um, after we were just about to set off, I went back into those garages and I found a couple of batteries sitting on the shelf that I didn't notice before. So if I didn't have a battery for my flashlight, that could have been a real godsend to find one of those. So definitely worth checking out. It doesn't look like this road has an end. <gasps> Buildings! We have found civilization! We are saved! Thank God! I may recognise this place, but I'm not sure. Again, it looks as if it's already been looted. We'll check everything just in case. Because you never know. All I need is a backpack. As soon as I find one... <gasps> I found one! Yay! Violet backpack. See, look, now, look at all the space I have. 25 lovely spaces for all my stuff. Which means I don't have to carry everything in my in my thing. So I can now actually utilise a backpack. So things like my raincoat can carry the important stuff. My hunter pants can stay nice and clear for the moment. But now I feel fully complete. I have my backpack. <laughs> Thank God for that. And the first building I came to as well. What luck. Is my player hungry? Oh yeah, he's hungry. Let's just get inside this building. Just have a... You can have a munch on that. Do need to find a canteen though. I've got to find a canteen. Right, ate some canned tuna. That's what's next. That's next. If I open that now, open can of beans. See, look, if you open it with a knife, you lose 28% of what was in there. Now, if I'd have used an actual can opener to open that, I would have got 100% of that out of it. So I actually sacrificed something so that I can open it. Still, it's better because the can opener was so rare, you couldn't even bloody find one. So I still feel that that's a good thing. So what's that? Pristine shirt, tear into rags. Combine those rags. 
put those rags in there. So you can turn shirts on the ground into rags, which is a good thing because like trying to find bandages and stuff is actually quite hard. You can eventually put together a first aid kit, I believe, but uh, again, it takes more time than it's probably probably worth to actually do that. Is that a player? Hey, friendly dude, friendly. Hello, gotcha. I'm friend. Hey, I'm friendly. Don't shoot, I'm not gonna shoot, don't worry. I don't have any ammo anyway. Bye. You guess he didn't want to be friends. Now I'm sad. <laughs> Eat some beans. See look, you lose thirty percent, well you leave lose like twenty five percent each time you eat one. So now that I've lost that because I use my knife to open it, I don't mind too much sacrificing that much. It's not too bad. It's just over a quarter though, so it means that it definitely takes away at least one helping of the food, which is quite annoying. But I guess it adds to the realism of the game, which is fine with me. Oh, backpack. Is it bigger than mine? It's the same size, but it's it's green. I think I might I think I might blend in a bit more if I have a green one rather than the purple one. Plus I look like less of a girl. No offense to girls. Now, I might look a slight bit different to what I looked like uh, in the previous clips. That's because I had a gaming session with Matt the Musketeer and a few other friends. Met them up here at the airfield where pretty much they've been holding it down for the last couple of days. Just been making my way up there very slowly, learning the game. But I'm now up here, so I'm now fully kitted out with my M4A1. Uh, my Hunter backpack as well. Uh, I've actually got a vest on, which allows me to carry even more stuff. So, And I've got this Kevlar helmet that I'm wearing, which makes it uh, harder for people to hit me. So if somebody fires a shot at my head, it doesn't take as much damage uh, as it normally would. Especially when they're firing with Stanag rounds. So, yeah. I'm definitely kitted out now. I think I'm going to end this episode here simply because that's the learning curve for me. Nearly complete. There's a couple of other things I've got to learn. I mean, the combat's still relatively new for me. But I'm really starting to enjoy Daisy. Uh, don't know why I waited this long to actually get into it. Probably could have jumped into it in the mod and it'd still be that fun. But yeah, I'm going to end the episode here, guys. So if you have enjoyed it, Please do leave a like and a rating and leave some suggestions because I'm brand new to this. So if you've got anything that you want to see from the standalone that you want me to try and demonstrate. If you've got any suggestions for things that I could do in the game. Sort of like, I don't know, maybe going on certain missions or something like that. Then do leave them in the comments. And maybe if you want to see the live con with Matt and the Musketeer and all the other guys. I might post that as well. But thanks for watching guys and I'll catch you in the next one.